Hi everyone, it's Tasha Dave here again, back for another crafty video. So, today we're going to make something really simple. Just, we're going to make one of these, which is like a hidden note wallet thing. So it just sits in there. Very simple to make, but I th what I thought I'd do is I'd use some um, paper that I've got. What I like is it just looks like one piece until you pull it out. So just nice and simple, they're just things that go that are nice and flat, go in a, um, a junk journal without taking up loads of space. So we're going to make some of those. And what I thought we'd do is we'd do it with some collaged paper. Now I didn't collage on camera um, because, well, some people like collaging, some people don't, some people say it's like watching paint dry, when it actually isn't, it's like watching ink, uh, glue dry. So, um, so all I've done is I've made, I've, I've collaged literally the covers of some t old Tim Holtz things. So I did this one so that you could see the pattern. Well, that one needs sticking down there. Um, and this one, so you couldn't. Um, and it just really depends on how we're going to use it as to what I'm going to do with it. So what I like about these is they're quite a shiny surface and they make, they're make really good for making it the inner thing slipping through it so you know it's kind of it makes a good sliding action so i'm just going to cut these trim these down and we'll see what we're going to use and the only the reason why i came why the reason why i wanted to make these is because i've got loads of these so these are their journaling cards from a kit that was well, I didn't buy ever buy the kit, but like I just bought these cards. They were in the sale at, in our hobby craft store. Um, oh, must be <laughs> five years ago, maybe. Um, and I've never used them. Um, so I occasionally get them out and use them for something. Um, so and that's what we're going to use them for today. So we're going to use those as the inner bits we're going, to use, we're going to use this collaged paper for the outer bit. So this one was made using some scraps of Tim Holtz paper from my last project that we did. Um, the little fold-out curio folio. Curio folio. I like words that rhyme. It's, it's not, although I shouldn't use words that rhyme because then I get tongue twisted. So... Um, so yeah, so um, that's what we're going to do. I'll use that piece. I'm just going to move those to one side and we'll cut this one down as well. Move that out of the way. So I, this is just my preferred way of collaging is to make it just a little bit over, so it overhangs and then cut the excess off. Then I'm not having to worry about getting it perfectly lined up at the on the edges. So we'll do this. Cut this down first, and then we'll then we'll get into the making. We're back. Um, well, I'm back. Now I've cut these down. So now what we want to do is we want to make some uh, like a case for it. So I don't know which one I want to use. I think I might use this one for the time being. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to get one of your little note cards. So if you can either do it one or two ways. So you can either use the note card to decide how big you want the outer to be, or you can make the outer and cut the note card to the right size. So I'm going to do it this way so that I can use these up. And I think I might use this one. Um, so what you want it to be is bigger than the actual note card. You don't want it to be the same size because you've got two pieces that are glued together to form a pocket, basically. So we're going to use this and we're going to go to about there. Nice accurate measurements about there. Um, and we're going to go to about there. So you want it to be bigger than the actual thing all round. So um, do I want to cut it like this? No, let's use a trimmer. Put this on the trimmer. So because this is a laminated card, so it's laminated with paper, so a lamination doesn't just mean um, plastic on things, it's just layers of. So 
because it's that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just be careful when I'm cutting it because sometimes the the blade will snag on the surface okay so I'm going to have both my bits that size I, I, I'm glad I've got that bit third quarter with the, the that nice is it called illumination I should have actually measured it and then I could have got a nice accurate size but never mind let's do it this way I'll just go to there and cut that down let's have that didn't cut this time does it it's got a line in it but I didn't cut it through that bit there there we go that's cut this time and then Around. Just make sure that they're nicely together. Okay, so that's our two pieces, our front and our back. Move these out of the way to save confusion. I've got a couple of bits where it's not stuck down, so I'm just going to stick that with some wet glue. I use stick glue to make the collaging, but it's always the way when you're collaging there's always bits that don't stick down so and then what we're going to do is we're going to flip them over okay and we're going to make we're going to clip the corner so they're nicely rounded and we're going to do that with the corner rounder which is here i think now this this is quite thick now so i don't know whether this will go through both of them but we'll soon find out yep I always hold my breath thinking one of these days this corner rounder is going to go nope but it hasn't done so far it's a Fiskars one so it's lasted nicely other rounders other corner rounders have come and gone but this one has stayed has remained faithful so there we go that's our so I'll have it that way up maybe uh, yeah so we'll have it that way up and they should sit together, do they? Oh no, look, because they're slightly out, aren't they? That's just blooming typical. Does it fit better that way? Oh, there you go. Does it? Yes, that's fine. So, there we go. Cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to glue all the way around the edge. So what, what we're going to do is we're going to make the pocket first, and then we'll make the other bit. So I'm going to glue all the way around. Now, because this is a bit shinier, it might not stick with this so actually let's lose that well, let's use the three in one well four in one that new glue four in one so, um, as we know four in one is kalal plus three in one hopefully we're at the point where we can get some out now yeah we are you just want to bead the glue all the way around the edge. All the way, not missing that bit, Dave. Now there's a few bits you've missed. Oh, it's going to go, it's going to go wrong now, isn't it? Get that off there. There we go. Because it's not coming out properly without... You've got to be a, an Olympian to be able to squeeze it out of the thing. That's what makes my hand go wobbly because I'm pressing on it and moving at the same time. There we go. So we've glued all that all the way around the edge. Ooh, steady. Let's light down actually, otherwise it'll be. I'll have moved back down to the bottom when I come to use it again. So we're gonna put that put those together. I'm gonna just Press those seams together nicely. I think I might need to trim that down actually. A little bit on the bottom. It's kind of got a little bit of an overhang, but haven't we all? Well, I certainly have. There we go. That looks better, and then I might just clip that again not advisable to put that into the 
corner around her when it's wet glue, Dave, but never mind, we'll do that. So now what, whilst that's drying, we're going to ink it. So let's use some of this, which is the rich mocha of the artistry inks. Uh, so I think this is very similar in colour to um, the gathered, I was going to say gathered sausages, but like that's not what they, it's called, what's it called? Gathered thoughts? No. Uh, <laughs> what's it called? Gathered, gathered twigs, that's the one. Gathered thoughts is more like what it should be called. You know me and my renaming of Tim Holtz. No offence, Tim. Well, not that you've ever watched me so like. <laughs> maybe I am, I'm, and maybe I am his guilty secret. Maybe he watches me and wishes he could be like me. Brian's in the background. If you hear laughing, it'll be him. So. Although he can't hear me, I don't think. Or he's tuned out because he doesn't think I'm talking to him. No, he's tuned out. So. I was talking to you, Brian. Hmm? I was talking to you. Okay. <laughs> I was just telling the good folks that you were here. I'm saying that I might be Tim Holtz's. Um, guilty secret he watches me when he's got nothing else to do so still not listening so <laughs> yes <laughs> i just said <laughs> that for the third time to all of the people out there um that i might be tim holtz's guilty secret that he watches me when he's got nobody else to watch so and he hears what i call his colors <laughs> gathered thoughts is what I've just called gathered twigs uh, yeah and then I said something else gathered oh I was I was going to call it gathered sausages but that's, <laughs> but that's only because I've got sausages in my head so that's not what I didn't think it was called gathered sausages I was just was thinking what's that word that means twig <laughs> it's a twig <laughs> Dave so if you're his guilty pleasure no, I said secret, I didn't say pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> right, so if you're a guilty secret, when my videos start going back up again, just mention the colours of this journal. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, Brian, Brian has created a whole load of journals in uh, that are, am I right by saying that they're drag queens? The series is called Drag Queens on the Run. You have to come here because, like, the, pe the good people can't hear you in the background. I've got the mic on. The series of journals is called Drag Queens on the Run, um, set in Paris at the turn of the century when gay people were heavily um, given a hard time by Queen Victoria in this country and around the rest of the world. And so there's a whole plethora of journals. 60 to be precise because there are 60 Tim Holtz colours um, and they're also named after. <laughs> so that uh, each one of the colours is named, uh, each one of the drag queens is named after the colour, after a colour. So all of the very obvious ones he started with, so like Shaded Lilac, is that one of them? Yeah, the first one was Tattered Rose. That's the first one. Tattered Rose. Um, I don't know what else there are. Um, I just, <laughs> just basically, don't ask me because I can't remember what the names of the colours are. So, like asking me is is the last person you should ask. So, sorry. So, all I've done now, once I've glued, once it's all glued and inked and dry and all of that, all I've done is I've sli I use the width of my ruler to slice the top bit off. Okay, and obviously you want to make sure that the sides are kept to the way, kept it, keep it the right way round which is that way, because then you want it to kind of sit together and be 
you know, almost invisible, that line. So that's why collaged paper is good because it's kind of got lots of edges that, you know, it, it might be a, it might be a split or it might not. Okay. So then once we open this up, so there is, I've just noticed there's a little bit of in the middle where the, the, um, paper hasn't adhered on the outside, but I'll, I'll come back to that if I need to. So what you want to do is you want to slide that into that gap first and push it down. And then you want to push this into there and you just want to check that it all fits and works before you commit and glue it. Cause once you've committed, it's much harder to make alterations. So first of all, you just need to open it a little bit. And then once you push that down into there, it should sit nicely. So you could leave it like that, but I will glue mine into there. So all I'm going to do is put a line of glue at the top of there. I'm not coming too far down because I don't know how far down I want this to, or how far out I want this to stick out. So what I'm going to do is, like I say, just open that up a little bit. Just hold it with my thumb and slide that into there, slide that in. And that way then if you're not, if you open it a little bit, when you push the glue in, it doesn't all like catch on this edge. So, and then you're just gonna, well, hopefully do something about it before it glue, the glue dries. And once you're happy, which I am now, press it down and then make sure you've got the right sides together. And you might need to just open that up a little bit and you're going to put that so i'm not going to i'm not going to ink down here because if you ink it ink if you ink down that line it's you're making it very obvious where where it is whereas if you just leave it uninked it kind of blends in nicely so that's that's one we'll make another one we'll make it with the other the other style and we'll do it long ways this time and again we're going to use one of the cards we'll use this one and we'll pick a bit that we want to i think we'll use this one so we're gonna go to about there we'll never see that line there let's try that again down here dave um, and then we're going to go to, I don't know, there, I think. I think oh, it depends on whether I can see that line again once I put it on here. I've already lost it, so. <laughs> Where is it? It's there. Right, it's there. Let's get that out of the way. I hope I've lost it again. There's there. So we're going to go from there to there, and actually I'm not going to cut all the way. I'm going to cut from there. So that's going to be one side of it. Where's the other line? There. Did that cut that out? No, because you didn't get your lines to meet. So just do that with scalpel. Okay. And then we'll use that. I knew that would happen. Are any of these the same size? No, why would they be? Why would they why would that happen? Um I'm gonna use that that way, I'm gonna use that one that way. So it's going to be like that, I think. Should we use that bit? Yep, we'll get that on. I know you're all thinking it's very wasteful, but at the end of the day, I would have been throwing the... How many of you actually keep these? How many of you actually do something with that cover? How many of you actually do something with all of the bits of ephemera that you collect because I know for a sh I know for sure that I don't do anything with with them normally I 
Oh, for goodness sake, what's wrong with you today? There you go. <laughs> and then we're going to cut that off. Make it nice and square this time. Just like that. Hopefully that's cut down. It has. Take that bit off. Okay, so we can have it that way up and that way up. Yep, we'll do that. And we're just going to glue down all the bits that are loose because it's a collage to be used. So now's the opportunity. Just check all of those corners. That's fine. Same with this one. Yep. Oh, that's actually all right. So they're going to go like that. And this has got a little chunk out of it, and it's just where the thumb, like if you can see where the sticker used to be on the outside of the Tim Holtz thing. So, so I'm going to do that together like that. I'll cut that overlap off now while I think about it. So I make sure it's square ish. Well, that's not square, is it, Dave? Never mind. Who needs square when you can have other shapes? There are other shapes in the world, you know. There we go. Cool. So we'll round those corners again. There's two things I do. I close my eyes when I do these. And I hold my breath because I think that one day these are going to stop working and also I hold I close my eyes because all the pieces fly at me so that's that we're going to glue that together like we did before isn't it ironic that those two pieces are exactly the same place anyway and this is the first time when you norm when you, you would normally make a pocket and you'd Oh, sorry, the glue's everywhere. Um, you'd normally make a pocket and you'd make sure you only glued three sides. This is the first time you're going to make a pocket and you're going to glue four sides. Let's go all the way around. So if you can hear a dog barking, it's next door's dog. So it's not in my house. So just in case. So we're going to lay that together like that and just press that seam together make sure it fits nicely oh it's stuck to the it was stuck like that to the to the desk in fact it's stuck again sorry it's slightly entertaining it doesn't take much so um, and maybe we'll use a different colour on this one. What's this one? Or oh, should we use something greeny? Maybe something greeny on this one. So this is, oh, avocado might be a bit much. There is another one that I like. Martini olive, this one's called. This is the one I like. This is the, like, like an oldie, like a bit, um, Kind of that acidic green, you know, the one that got banned, the one that's got arsenic in it. Um, the the, the um, Victorians raved about, well, who raved for a, a short period of time until, we, until the, they started <laughs> losing their marbles and dying of um, arsenic poisoning. Um, Yeah, like Brian's just said, they liked all their poisons. They liked the you know the things that gl the stuff that glowed in the dark, um, that was actually radioactive, and they liked lead in paint. Um, they weren't happy, you know, unless it was murdering you gently, 
Let's hang on. It's not. <laughs> it's not really the best way to keep your keep good customers, is it? By killing them. <laughs> you know, you live and you learn, or you die and you don't. So, um. So yeah. Anyway, so this is a that kind of a greeny colour. I just really like it. It's one of my favourites of these. And I don't think there's, I mean, like, you know, don't get me wrong, I don't I don't have all of the Tim Holtz colours, unlike Brian, um, but I don't, I don't think there is a Tim Holtz colour that is the same as this one. And that's the reason why I like it. And also, because, you know, it's nice to see somebody else get a, a look in, in the craft community these days, so... Gonna go put that bit of darkness around the, the very edge. Just catching that edge as well. And then I can blend that through. So blend that into this. Yep, it's all in my hand. A bit of Distress ink in the hand is worth two on a shelf. So back to that a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush thing that I couldn't remember. And Christine, no, Christina um, Hall put the, set me straight as she does. She's very good at setting me straight. So, and I am very grateful for her her knowledge. She basically she's the oracle. So. <laughs> Yes, I mean you. <laughs> so, that bit still isn't stuck down. Let's stick that down now. There we go. And then, again, I'm just going to use the... Oh, no. Yep, no, we are doing it this way around. I was just thinking, which way around do we need to do this one? This is the way around. So, we're going to just put that on there. I'm just using the thickness of the ruler. Basically, it's like an inch, an inch and a bit. The width of the ruler, not the thickness. There we go. Slice that off. That's going to be our top bit. And then we will put... Where's it gone? There. I'm going to use this on the inside. So again, we just want to check it. Just pop, up, pop it open a bit. Put that inside there. Check that it sits in there. does all right okay so let's take that out oh, I don't know which bit to use I want to I kind of want to see that pattern that watercolory pattern put that in there hold that open a little bit while you put that in there Try and get it slightly straight, you know, just try. Not looking for accuracy, although he's measuring it on the mat, so it clearly is. Um, there we go, just to try and get it more in the middle. There we go, and that, that one's going to go in there. So now we can. Maybe decorate those. So that's going to go in there. So what you don't want to do is is gape that open too much, otherwise you'll find it won't close. It won't sit back flat again. Um, so let's get some things on here. So maybe we'll cut a shape out of this. Maybe use my slot punch. Oh, it looks like it's completely mangled, tangled. Okay, use this. Use a slot punch on there. Try not to get your flesh in the way and pinch that, Dave. Um, and this one will make a hole in. 
So we're just going to use this rather than my crocodile, just use this. Easier to tell where I'm doing it with that one, that's fine. <laughs> All the energy, and you have to make just make sure that you, your flesh is out of the way because I've pinched my flesh in those things before, and they are painful. In fact, I might even put that on there and see if I can punch it. which I can't, so I'm not going to. <laughs> so, I'm going to break the stamp if I try. <laughs> so, this is uh, this stamp, by the way, this punch, sorry, is just... Um, it's these. Can you, see, you can't even see. What, the, what a useless thing to show somebody. Look, there you go. You can see the... It's got the it just makes very almost digitised type things. Quite quirky looking. So, maybe put some ephemery bits on there. Gonna tick it maybe. Rip a ticket. A ticket on. I'm gonna tick it to ride. And I don't care where. So oh let's use a real stamp. So I've got stamps here. And we'll find something that's kind of complementary, but not not exactly the same. Yep, we'll use that and something else, maybe. These are all just they're not they're not worth anything these stamps. These are just off eBay. Floated stamps they are. Do I want any more? Maybe I'll just use one of these as well. And then these are I think these are Indian stamps. In fact I might leave that together as a as a whole thing. Um, I'm struggling for ephemera at the moment, not because I've run out. Please do not think that I've run out. But um, Brian's just having a sort out of my ephemera again. Um, well, it's no, it's one of the things, one of the tasks we didn't complete last time. It kind of just got abandoned when everything happened with my mom being ill and everything. And then, yeah, so things just kind of just got left um, unfinished so it's something we're kind of trying to go back to you know this whole thing of me wanting to finish things having that need to complete stuff so, so that's that's why let's get some rich mocker on this Dirty it down a little bit. And then maybe this pharmacy ticket. Just going to maybe crease it a little. And ink it on the creases. A little bit more interesting that way. these together so I might put something on there just in case you can see it um, number 276 date together and see what we can see. I know they say a collection of three is the the way to go, but my brain's wanting to add more. I don't know whether I want more now. Less is more, Dave. Let's go less is more. 
So I'm going to staple this to get what that. Well, I say I'm going to staple if I can find the stapler. Oh, there it is. Should have some rusty staples in. Oh no, it's got green staples in this time. But never mind, that's all right. We don't mind. We're just going to glue these bits down so they don't get caught. Bit of glue on the back. Pop that on there. Um, and do I want something else on there? Maybe just make it a little bit more interesting, Dave. That will go nicely with that. Let's just wrap that. In fact, actually, we'll do it so that the the um, speech bubble is the right way. Or actually, we'll put it that way. And we're just going to push that down underneath those things a little, and then we're going to wrap that round there. Yeah, so stick it down. Stick that on there. Don't want to cover that B. That's the only thing, do we? Gonna wrap it around there. And hopefully it won't cover the bee, which it has to good. Okay, I'm just gonna where's my thing? This bone folder, that's what I'm trying to think of. I'm just gonna do that. And then actually maybe I will make that into a little pocket. What you call thinking on your feet well it's unusual for me to be doing any thinking so maybe like that and we could just have something <laughs> tucked in there oh look those stamps <laughs> you're just being silly now well yeah i know i always am always have been always will be maybe this we'll go to about that there that line there. Slice it off. Just use a ruler, I think. Because it's already got a grid line on it, might as well use that. Round those corners. My corner rounder. Oh, that's going to be the same. All that shape. In the right place that's in the right place that's better that one and that one that's it and then we'll use oh where are they gone where have we put those now dave oh they're there they're just up the wrong way nope not on there stick that on there now i feel like i need something else <laughs> What should we put on there? Bit of, a, bit of one of these. Not that one, that's a cover one, Dave. In fact, we'll use that. So, not that one, this one. staple it. There we there it is. We will. And we'll glue the rest of it down so it doesn't get in the way. We'll stick your we'll stick your finger in it, one of the two. Not the same unless we've made a mess, so Pop 
that. Hey, but, oh, I know what I might stick on there. I've got this. And a nice flower. Put that on there. There we go. And that can just go in there. Please go in there. There you go. Like that. So we've got a little bit of an interest thing sticking out there. We've got this, which we'll put. Oh, put a st so this is actually um, macrame or macrame, depending on who you are and where you're from. Um, it's macrame string, which I've uh, macrame or whatever, um, which I purchased to be able to learn macrame. But as, as you can tell, I haven't I haven't got there yet. One day, maybe. Possibly, who knows? So there's that. Yeah, it's all right. It's not not looking too bad, not too shabby. And then we'll do something with this one. So this opens this way. We need something to go in there that is not miles away. So I'm back. Okay. So uh, just found a couple of other bits that were kind of behind me. So these are bits of ephemera. I don't know what this is. Idea what this is, but it's uh, it's something. Okay, some kind of token by the looks of it, but I don't know what it is. It's come from somewhere. I must have bought it from Etsy or something at some point. It was in one of those little crafty bags, or maybe it was a Happy Mail bit that somebody sent me. I thought. I don't want to cover up too much of my... Oh, that was the... I ended up putting that one. No, it doesn't... It's not... It doesn't stand out enough. Don't want that on there. So maybe the rest of that. Or maybe one of those. I know what we'll use. We'll use one of these. So I'm back. Um, <clears throat> just didn't want the pressure of having to write something on this with you guys all staring at me so because <laughs> I hate my writing so um, I was going to get Brian to write it but he was downstairs so I want something darker on that edge use that one this is round earth no, not ground earth, ground espresso. Well, oh, this is not very, not a very good one. Oh, this is the new one. That's why. Note to self: buy a new big version of that because this isn't much better either. So distress inks. They're not what they used to be. But they do seem to dry out much quicker. Or is it because they get used more? I don't know. One of the two, Dave. It's not a, neither here nor there. There we go. Cool. So this is literally going to just go on here. We're going to have this on the top of it. It seems to be colour coordinated again. Maybe we could have that then on there. Yep, let's do that. So we will stick this down oh it's there's going to be a craft launch in a minute because i've just heard something move in front of me not tra i want to know what that is not transferable issued under the authority of the Secretary of State for Trade and Industry. One, u one unit, first period only, register of registered number of vehicle. No idea. 
still have no idea what it, what it is. So anyway, <laughs> so we'll do. I think we'll put that together like that. Yep. And there, and then we're going to have this little bird thing. Bird thing. It's a bird, Dave. It's not. A, it's either a bird or it's a thing. But it's not a bird thing. Stick all those little bits down so they don't get gored. Like that. Oh. Looks sweet. Right, okay, I, this is the only ribbon I could find that wasn't like bright pink or purple. So we've, we're using what we've got to hand. So actually, I think I might go just shorter than that, like that. It's a bit sparkly for me, but oh well. Just staple it. There we go. That's our little, another little one. Okay, so let's put these together. Okay, so there we go. That's what we've made today. So we made these little, started with this. This was my little um, one I made off camera. And then these are the other two that I made. So I made this one that's lengthways. Um, the little bit of something on the front and then a little pocket on the back. And then we made this one, which is, uh, sorry, this is um, portrait. This one is um, horizontal. Um, is that the word? Horizontal. Yes, it is, Dave, I think. Sorry, just realized the bird's nest isn't fully stuck down. And then this is the other one we made, which is this way around. So slides open. And there we go. And then just sit it together and you can't see where the join is. And that's it. So that's what we've made today. So I hope you like those. Really simple, very easy. Something you can do. Um, something I will be making more of. Um, and that's it. So thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget, my name is Dash of Dave. And I love you all, without exception, until you give me a reason not to. So don't give me a reason not to, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, folks. Thanks for very much for watching. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Um, and maybe watch one of the next videos that's going to be coming up of mine hopefully <laughs> all right then folks take care see you soon bye lots of hugs and i'll see you soon take care bye